Hello everyone and welcome back to my guide on how to complete the Rubicus in Final Fantasy Type-0. We are now in Mission Bay, part of the last mission. I will be skipping this Scorpia, this Sortia. We just finished with them and now in Plaza Sun. So this is the last free time. The last everything the Kupo has to under the wrong impression. What do you want at this point? Oh no, thank you. There's two more quests that need to be done here. So there should be two more tasks. One of them is in the launch. This one. She doesn't ask for the impossible yet. She asks for it. Don't tap me, girl. Okay. Alright. So we are quite literally done with them and I in the sun. They have nothing more to give us. Actually I believe Kazan may have a fun scene. Oh yeah, right, I forgot. About Kazasan scene. I am just gonna give myself console of Hamasis. So we have our favorite dude here who's gonna give us the costumes only after we get 20,000 points. This is probably the cheesiest dialogue in the whole game, what I says there.
Okay, nothing here. So I do believe that we actually did not manage to do any of our friends' tasks, which means none of them are here to actually give us anything. If you didn't do anything, then uh, they will not be here. Now comes the literal words. Goodness lady, you must really think that I care. I don't. Alright, so we still have one more thing left to do. Which is we have to talk to Kazusan one last time. There is one more scene that we need from Kazusan. Nandai. Nandai. All right, two more scenes. That should be it for Kazusan. Um, so in order to get Arya's whole story, we have to actually see all of Arya's. Um, Arya and Quato are tied together. You have to see their scenes because their scenes are not available anywhere else. Okay, so we we have to click on this, what happened to Arya. And you have to view this scene in order to get the full scene. Um, so this one would be one. Uh, they are free, I believe. Uh, this one is for mother. You want to see this one. Uh, in order to unlock all of her entries, you will not be able to unlock all of her entries if you don't see this. It's a special scene between her and Sink. Uh, something funny, this thing is uh, actually a choice-based um, part of the story that was never included in the story. There's a lot of tidbits like this, so you might want to just let this one play out and see how it is. Uh, you actually do have a choice to make at the end. It's uh, pretty funny. Okay, so we have... Uh, these are two more of Arya's little scenes. We have assign her to my custody and on second thought. You want to view both of these in order to actually um, uncover all of Arya's story. So these would be two. The first scene that I showed you and then there is one more. This one. This is the one that you want to see and as... The title spoils it. Yes, it is exactly what you think it is. <laughs> and, um, yeah. So after this one was viewed, that should be all of Arya's story. So now if we go back into Historica Persona, you will see that Arya has 4 out of 5. That's because her last entry is in New Game Plus's exclusive scene that we have not opened yet. Um... And if we go to see 
Where is it? Uh, Emina will not be unlocked until you finish new game plus after you've completed her quest. So don't worry, Emina will be unlocked after the playthrough. Kazusan is already done. Actually, Kazusan finishes before you actually get all of his entries. Now, Arya is free out of free, so Arya is done. The same thing should be for General Quator. Um, uh, ah, yeah, this one because we need to take the last secret though, so incognito this will not be unlocked until, you, uh, until actually the next mission. <laughs> not until then, until the next mission. Um, where is General? Uh, these are um, people in. Um, what is it called? A uh, special ending. The special ending that will be unlocked after we complete the second playthrough. So they are not unlocked yet. A bunch of them are not unlocked yet. Where is General Quator? I skipped over him somehow. Somehow managed to skip over him. Uh, Rem and Machina also need. So Rem will not be free out of free. Machina um, needs uh, the last. So Machina struggles coming right up that mission. Rem needs. Uh, <sighs> The encounter with Dr. Arecia, which I unfortunately did, forgot about. And uh, New Game Plus is ending. We will... Uh, I'm sorry, no. Delivering her the secret stall and Machina the secret stall. Yeah, for her it's the secret stall for... And the mother, Machina is Machina Struggles coming right up. Um, what the hell, Jack? Did I skip something for you? Yeah, Emina unlocks at the end. Uh, where is it? Ah, oh, there he is. He's conscious and past. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so he is free out of free. I just forgot that he's not called Fato in this one. Okay. Um. Yeah, incognito. Uh, the mysterious masked man is again secret ending uh, for new game plus. These are a couple of secret ending entries. This is Lassie. This is a Lassie quest that we have not taken to the dude. Um, and then we all have everything there. Uh, these the summons. I will show you where to get the other summon. Um, so for enemy compendium, it is very possible that you do not have Cactar and Cactuar, these two. So I will be showing you where to get all of the Cactuar. And this is the secret boss. So that is all that we have left for enemy compendium. You shouldn't have anything else. Like I'm fairly sure everything else you should have gotten. It's For you it should be these three entries. Depending, you might have these free entries if you just randomly encounter the cactuar like I did, but if you didn't, I'm going to show you where to encounter these cactuars and where to encounter the secret boss, which is the only one that we don't have. We should have all of the records of service except for, yeah, this one, which is their suit. Uh, I will show you how to farm for that one. I will show you how to farm for that one, and there we should have everything here. Um, okay, I will be getting the last of Mother's entries when I go to New Game Plus 3 in order to show you how to get Gilgamesh to appear, the secret, the final secret boss of the game. Unfortunately, because I forgot about that one and Gilgamesh appears much after that entry, so we should be fine, I'll get it in New Game Plus 3. <sighs> Alright, so that should be it. Let's go and um, go outside. We need to go outside and deliver our last the secret stones. We need to uh, get the secret boss to spawn. We can now spawn the secret boss. The stupid Suzaku or whatever that thing is called. The Nox Suzaku. That, that thing. Ugh, that thing. Yeah. That amazing little piece of work, that secret boss, you will soon understand why I don't like that thing. So let's go to the city that we need to go, which is um, 
his car. We need to go to his car. Alright, and here we actually let's keep her because we have all of the Lassie crystals. We just have to deliver them to our dude over here. Okay, so yeah, there they were. That is all of the Lassie crystals. So now if you go to, where is he, the mayor? Oh goodness, are we serious? I still have to do this before he allows me to go to the to the black market okay fine let's just do this real fast so that I can show you the black market and how not worth anything it is I took the long way around. What? <laughs> I took the long way around. At the very least, this is not a quest to go outside and look for stupid <laughs> mobs, so it should it's done in very fast. Okay. Now, you. And now, after you are done with that quest, you can talk to this guy and he will take you to the night market. In the night market, though, this guy has a bunch of stuff, but this shop would not be here until you actually finish. Gathering all of the sea crystals, which means that you would be going to the Tower of Agito. Do you think that this guy has anything in stock that's more valuable than the stuff in the Tower of Agito? Because you literally get his sea crystal before the behemoth fights, which if you get the behemoth fights, you are done. The behemoths are nothing. So let's see what he has to offer us. This thing, uh, which can break, it costs 300. Thousand gil, it can break, so you can only end up using this thing only once. It rejects EXP and grants you free cast. Do you know what you get in the Tower of Agito? A free cast item. <laughs> Two of them, which don't break. The Agito Insignia and the Grand Mage's Badge, so worthless. This thing, which increases attack by 100, but rejects EXP. Again, look at how expensive that is. Look at how much money I would have. I would... <laughs> be able to buy only one of these and it is not even worth it <laughs> because attack is worthless in this game magic is all that matters this one this one the soul of tamas is nagito insignia do all of this and they don't break and cost that much worthless this one Again, whiteless. <laughs> this, <laughs> this is probably the most disappointing thing in the game. I will say it right now. It's absolute trash. This shop, considering what it requires you to do, it requires you to give for the Tower of Agi. It has this to offer. I was, I was 
so disappointed. I was so disappointed because there is no secret boss. There's nothing. Once you get to through the tower of Agito, quite frankly, the Agito tower is the hardest thing in this game, and like you don't even need the things in the tower of Agito to beat the tower of Agito. I think I've made my point clear by beating the tower of Agito without any free cast items. You don't even need those. So. <laughs> The fact that this shop is just, like, I would have preferred Square, if you're listening, this shop should have had special conversations for the kids, some moment with their commander, I don't give a shit, like, it should have been sentimental, because quite frankly, you have no content for which any of what he has in that shop is even remotely worth it, so you should have given us special trinkets, dialogue options, something. Not the bullshit that I'm seeing in this guy. This is the worst part of your game. <laughs> Just so you know. Speaking as a fan, that is dumb. That is shit. That is absolute trash. And I was so disappointed, I have no words. Okay? So now let's look for the cat bar. Um, but first we want to switch six because six is not useful for this. Okay, so we want to make sure that our characters. Um, let me go to reserves. I don't want Makina here because Makina is about to ditch me. So I want someone who is actually sticking around. Um, yeah. So my three characters. We want to give. No, no. We want to arm, uh, yeah, we can assign Realm and we want armament. We want to give her the enchanted bango because um, it's fine for her to have that one. And we want to give her assassin's dagger. Uh, you don't really need much then quick and trans. Quick and trans are good enough for her. And uh, we want Metora. Uh, we want, I'm giving the Agito Insignia straight to these guys because they are, um, the Agito Insignia and the Soul of Tamasis to these guys because they, they will have them at the end as well. So there's no point in me not giving it, giving them the stuff. So, Soul of Tamasis and the Agito Insignia, yeah, there it is. It is the Metro, yeah, okay, it is the Metro and we want the Void. Uh, so fire and blizzard. No, we don't have Metora. I will be equipping Metora as well because the Cactuar are actually weak to these spells. So I will be using Metora on the Cactuar. We want to get ourselves the to Chocobo. Okay, so the Cactuar can appear somewhere around oh wow wow thank you thank you thank you i don't know if this is the one with the c or the one with the k but you have to kill this guy fast and as you can see meteora just murders him that's the reason why i say wait until you enter new game plus to murder this dude because he gives you nothing useful he gives you a pearl phantom and that's the reason why i say he's worthless but yeah, it, it, on the, this plane, on these parts of the plane, you want to go to the finish and back again until he spawns, like we did with the other character. Uh, now we want to go to the house. <sighs> that was pretty fast, I, was, I did not expect. Or you can go in town and come back out again, but then you'd be wasting your chocobo, that's the reason why I say you just get out and then come back in. Uh, so you want to go to the desert house, which is somewhere around the crater, yeah, here. We'll be getting a chocobo. Oh no, I shouldn't have gotten that chocobo, but... Well, whatever. Yeah, so we do actually want to go to the desert house. And then run around until he spawns. There we go. Okay, so it does not matter which chocobo we take. Any chocobo should do.
So yeah, Meteora is an insta wipe for these guys. Do not try this with a loud. A loud needs you to get very close and the cactor can one shot you if you get very close to him. Alright, now we can go to the airship and go to Roshana. We have to go to Roshana in order to get the last of the and don't worry that glowy thing is just a mega elixir. We already got all of the secrets though. In case you saw it, if you didn't see it then it doesn't matter. <laughs> Okay, so Roshana is the. Uh, yeah, I forgot. No, this one is the. The Togo. It should be right there after this one. Yeah. So after this one, we actually want to go down here. Because we want to enter this place. So let us get a. I don't know. Sonic? Yeah, Sonic would be good. We want to enter this big place. And the cactus is usually in the corner, so if you pull up the map, the cactus should be around here. Around here is where the cactus spawns. If you see something spawn over there, then the cactus is there. If not, you want to go out. And then you want to go back in. Okay, this is what you want to see. There's two points. The point furthest away. So this guy right over here, that's the Kappa. So we want to go after him. Well, you don't need to see both points. You need to see just one and that is the furthest point. So the, that thing that's moving very fast, that is the Blossom. So you. Alright, we got it. Come on, Meteora, load! Because this thing doesn't actually sit for very long. I just let the void dodge it first. Okay. So that is all of the cat bar. We now have to deal with the secret boss. So we are gonna be going. Um, the secret boss is very particular. It wants you to. Collect a lot of Phantoma. The first one, the North Suzaku, is very particular. It wants you to collect a lot of Phantoma, so we will be going in an area where we can easily collect a lot of Phantoma, which is actually our first area, the Rubu Bloom uh, region. Where in no. Now, my skills when it comes to navigating to the Rubo region itself is absolutely terrible. I don't know where it is. Um, yeah. So, this would be the tower. Okay. Okay, there it is. Yes. I found my way eventually. Alright. So, what we want to do here is get ourselves a chocobo. I don't know, whichever one, doesn't matter. And we want to go to the cave. And we want to, because we have free cast items, we don't need to worry about MP. So we are going to be killing the cats until this thing spawns. Because it spawns when you collect a lot of phantom. So what, and this cave is the one that has the most amount of mobs, let's say, available. Yeah, her her boyfriend does not turn back if you don't talk to her in every cave, obviously. But we don't care about that. We care about spawning the secret boss. All right, I forgot that I have Metora. So if he spawned for you, that's great. For me, he's being a little bit cheeky, and I personally don't want to give Catherine Ace too many levels because then I will. Lose a lot of um, because we're just about to go into chapter 8. So I'm going to do the second best thing, which is if he doesn't spawn for you either, then just come here to town after a certain number of attempts. Um, save here and then just return to title. Missions and just go to 
which mission? So we want to go to Operation Breakthrough Officer with Ram. We want to change her equipment because Metora is actually going to be a bother. So we want to get Blizzard Boom. Um, this mission is also very good to farm your phantom any kind of phantom one that you want because you have infinite spawn and you can just farm until you feel like you have 99 and you can just leave ちょっとは抵抗してみな。逃がさないよ。クラスベロ別動隊。ここで使用祭への侵入を確認。まずは地下倉庫へ向かい民間人を救出して。So we are going to skip over these guys because they are not the most optimal place of farming and we are just going to run over to this place. Okay, I want to go back to this region. And we want to keep on farming here. And there it is, he finally showed up. Okay, so there we have him. The Norse Suzaku finally showed up. Now we cannot collect any more phantoms, so what we want to do now is we want to finish this mission as fast as humanly possible. Oh my god, it took me so long to force him to show up. Don't collect any more phantoma. It's very... We're gonna try and not collect any more phantoma. Because... Uh, it might trigger him to leave. It's actually a pretty nasty thing because he can leave anyway. Um, he has a very nasty tendency of leaving in the middle of the mission that he showed up, so it's very possible that I don't get him. Go away, you. Oh, wait a second. Now, this one is only one room and it's right here. Oh, no, it's not. Which one was only one room? I don't remember. The, but this one is such a long walk, I hate this mission to a certain extent because it's so hard to... Where is it? Where is the second one? Where is it? It's over here. Okay, got it. Let's go. Let's see. I don't care for you. Alright, this place, okay. Are we serious? You're going after that line first? Okay, so we got everything. We want to get this. That, those are the only phantom that we want to get, quote unquote, because obviously we can't get those phantom, and then the last one would be the phantom at the end. Um, So this should be the last one.
Okay, there we go. So we got these things. We're just gonna be waiting over here with the golem because he can't actually hit us from here. If you have his PvP personnel, don't wait with the golem. The golem will hit them because they're dumb enough to walk to him. I'm just gonna let those disappear because I don't want to pick them up to not make him leave come on shatter 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 okay once those shatter the other groups will pop and now these guys should be shattered come on go away Okay. Now the boss should pop. Ram. Okay. Now the boss shatter. And after the boss shattered, the mission should be over. Alright, you have to save, by the way, because if you don't, the um, Norse Suzaku will not be in your save. <laughs> yeah, it took me 300 phantom on my... Dude, you are so annoying. So save. Over your current save, we want to go back to the title screen immediately and we want to continue. All right. All right, all right. So we want to, we have our moment. We want to items, equip the animal lanterns, assign ram. All right, uh, where, where is he? Where is he? Where is he? I thought he popped. Okay, okay, so if the skies are like that, you probably saw him. The, the arrow will point towards him on the airship. You can only get this boss with the airship. It's that black hole over there. So we want to fly towards him. And enter that cloud of does okay now that we are in only one character because it's Phoenix which makes it more difficult actually in all honesty if this was any other difficulty we would actually have an easier time with this boss all oh, right we want to uh, change Ram's equipment, unfortunately, because we don't want her to dodge. Okay. So Ram needs to die, but you have to make sure that she has V-Race. Why do you, does she need to die? Because this will not pop otherwise. Okay, that's fine that she died. She needs to die. Immediately re-raise and then do this. There we go. He's dead. Yeah, you have to die. You have to die to beat this guy. So there we go. He's pathetic. He's really the worst boss I've ever seen ever. I don't know if there's a worse boss than this, but this that thing dying to get him to spawn really, really mm, the pinnacle of gameplay. And you can die uh, I believe a lot of times for this guy. You can die a lot of times with this guy. Um he can help you farm money that way and defense and HP enhancers. He drops a lot, a variety of them. It's not just defense enhancers. It's 
brand them. Um, so if you want to farm those, this would be a good option while well, farming for Phantom Up. <laughs> Going to a mission farming for Phantom Up, you can farm guild this way if you really need it at this point. It's not needed. Nothing is needed. <laughs> but yeah, um, that's the first secret boss. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we did it, the noise is out of the way, and after you deal with him here, you will be able to find Phantom again. So, we can assign our girl 6. Right, and because we don't need to get rid of, to do any more outside stuff, we can get rid of Ram stuff. Because, um, she will be leaving our party soon. So there's no point in leaving the good stuff on her. So at this point... Actually we still need ramp... No we don't, we need those. Hmm, yeah. So at this point, I believe you should have all of the enemy companion complete, let me see. Alright. Let's go and complete the records of service. It's farming time, baby. <sighs> Who does not like farming? So, save. Return to title. Mission. Operation Breakthrough An Officer Introduce Give or Remove the Double You can see yeah. Where is it? Goodness me I have so much I need to sell some of this Okay, which one is it? This one yeah, we should be fine with Block, because she's already invincible, and we need to farm for... Um, <laughs> yeah, this is gonna get a lot of levels off of this, which is already unfortunate. We don't care about the Noor Shizaku this time around. You don't want to leave this place until you have all of your stuff. Stop running, you coward. She's gonna get so much of off of this. Well, what can I do? Yeah, the two most bloodthirsty girls just spoke. Sink and six. Mm. Most definitely not. Alright. So now they can't do anything to do this, which is amazing because we have double it and senior, and that means that we can just sit around and not even bother with attacking or dodging. This is actually amazing for, for us. So yeah, we need that total SPP. We need to get it to 20,000. Where you see SPP? There? We want it. We want 20,000 of this. So I will be back after I have 20,000 because uh, this is going to be boring. So 
So at this current point in time I have 19,000 SPP points and she has about 1,000 so I'm leaving. Because as soon as I get hers I should have enough. And this is level 46, which is already way too high for my liking. Like, the bosses are gonna be pretty high level, I'm not fond of this. Oh, I hate this. I hate it when she pops exactly as I'm about to leave the room just to leave me vulnerable. They are so annoying. So I'm just gonna wait here for Queen to disappear. Because I need her points. I don't care for them. But I want Queen to go so that I can book those points and then I am at exactly the points that I need in order. At more than the points that I need in order to unlock the costumes. There we go. So Queen just left. This is my cue to actually leave this place as well. Because I don't care right now if Rem dies. Not my business, girl. Alright, now we don't have to come to this golem again. For now, at the very least. Actually, we do. I forgot that you can't get to the other room. Through here, to the other room, through here. So we still have to deal with the golem. That's fine. At the most, he's gonna kill one of them, which is absolutely in order for me. I have, yeah, I have 20,000 SPP points. I don't care how much else. So I'm just gonna get this. Alright, and this one. That should be it. We are gonna wait for... This. Okay. Oh goodness, you stop getting levels. There we go. All right. There we go. SPP Guardian Commander, that's the rank that we wanted to achieve. Go away, cutscene. Nobody likes you.
there's a couple of things that we want to do and uh, those things will be getting the summons point number one and point number two we want to complete every mission on finish difficulty absolutely every single one and that is complete not s rank so we just need to get to finish the mission it doesn't matter what score you get absolutely irrelevant we just need every mission to be complete on finished difficulty so for example as you can see um, that its first deployment is complete most of these red ones will be complete well the cold crimsons will be because you did them for, for the story mode but for example this one is not complete on finish we want to go and complete it on finish just complete it not anything else um we'll be taking the double agito insignia and equipping them on ram uh, so for the Mitro daggers, we are fine with blocks. So every single one um, of them that is not complete on finish, you want to complete. I will be back once I have all of them complete on finish. 